You click on post a project, you choose a good name for your project, you write a project description that is as detailed as possible, you click on next, the skills are automatically pulled from your project description, again click on next, click on post a project, always pay a fixed price, select customize budget in the drop down menu, the minimum project price is $8, Define the maximum project price carefully because this is what most freelancers will bid. Click on next, make it a standard project, skip all the upgrades, click on next, and click on yes, post my project. Hello everybody, my name is Svan with freesoto.com and I just showed you how to post a job on freelancer.com. Now let's actually hire the freelancer. After you waited some time, you will see the list with all the proposals. Select the freelancer you like, click on award, click on award and pay deposit, choose a payment method and click on confirm and pay. After your payment has been processed, you will need to wait until the freelancer accepts the job. Then he starts working. Now I want to share six helpful tips with you for working as a client on freelancer.com. Tip number one, it takes only seconds on freelancer.com for the proposals to come in after you post your project. I mean, it's humanly impossible for anyone to read your project brief in that short amount of time. So don't work with any freelancers bidding on your project in the first minute. Tip number two, never set a price range for the projects you're posting. This will result in you overpaying. Most freelancers will bid the highest amount possible. So always set a custom budget. Tip number three, freelancer.com is the only platform I know where you have to write an email to support staff to get your money back. If for example, a freelancer cancels the project midway, your money is not automatically returned to you. Instead, it's put on your balance and you need to get in touch with support to get it refunded. Tip number four, don't invite freelancers proactively to your project. They almost never react when you invite them. Tip number five, only use the direct hire function if you worked with the freelancer before because you can only add a very short message. Only do this if it's a repeat project and you already know the freelancer. And tip number six, never use the private project upgrade. You will pay $19 for your project to be private, but still freelancers that you didn't invite can sign up for it. As a final tip to make your work easier while you hunt for the perfect freelancers, take a look at my tool named FreeSoto. It's a freelancer management system that helps you stay organized. Every freelancer moves through a funnel from sourced to messaged to video called to hired. And FreeSoto visualizes this. On freesoto.com, you can sign up for the software. It's free. There you will also find the blog post about this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.